Hello, Riverside Prep. It's Mr. Richardson, and it's time for Ollie's Corner again. I had to trick her with the treat in order to come over. There's your treat. Thank you, Ollie. It is time for another art lesson. So here we go. What we're doing this week is bubble art. Bubble art is where you take some food coloring or maybe some acrylic paint or watercolor paints and you mix them into a fair amount, maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons of liquid soap. Here's the liquid soap that I used. And then you take that liquid soap, you put it into a glass or a bowl or maybe a paper cup and you fill it just a little bit of water, maybe about, I don't know, a quarter to, two, to a half a cup of water. And you need a straw. So you blow bubbles just like these. Look, I got mining glasses. See that? And you put a straw in it and I'll demonstrate. You come down here and you blow bubbles in it. Then you take those bubbles and you transfer them to the paper and you spread it out just like I did. Did you see how I just spread it out? You didn't. Let me do it again. Here it is. You blew the bubbles, you let it sit for just a second or two, then you transfer it to your paper. And then you spread it out with your straw. And you just let it sit. And as the bubbles pop, they make and leave a design on your paper. You can pop them with your fingers if you want, just like I am. See the design it leaves? It sort of leaves a bubble print on your paper. And you could use several different colors. I used the primary colors, and then I mixed one. I mixed blue and red, and I got purple. So I got yellow, blue, red, and purple. You can make as many as you want if you have food colors or if you have acrylic paint, whatever kind of um, paint you have. Mix it in with your liquid soap with water into a little cup. Could be a plastic cup. It could be a glass cup, okay? Use a straw. Blow the bubbles up and then transfer them to your paper. Now the kind of paper might um, make a difference on how it comes out. I used computer paper, and it's kind of thin. It doesn't um, absorb water um, the way it should, because it sort of is shiny. And so, as you notice, if you use a little bit of um, wetness to your bubble and you wait a minute before you put the bubbles on your paper you'll get the bubble pattern if you do it right away it will just make a blotch i'll show you and then i also use this kind of sketch paper okay and you could use like a sketch paper that comes out of a sketch pad that's a little bit thicker the best paper i think would probably be like the construction paper we have in our art room that I don't have at home, that you probably, I don't know, maybe you don't have at your home either. It doesn't matter. Use whatever you can, whatever paper you have. You might want to put some newspaper or a towel or something under your workspace and, um, and then have fun doing it. There's really not, you can't really go wrong with it. Blow the bubbles and then apply them to your paper, different colors. Uh, I think less sometimes is more. So the less you put on your paper as you go, don't try and overdo it because they tend to like, once you got one color down, they don't lay down on top of each other very well, the different colors. Um, and then the ultimate goal here is to make your mother a Mother's Day card. So keep it quiet. Don't let her know that this is a secret. We're making her a Mother's Day card, okay? I'll show you what I did. I made several different um, designs. The first two right here, these two designs, this one here and that one there, are on a thicker stock paper, okay? The paper was uh, more like construction paper, all right? Then these ones over here, this one here and that one there, that was your computer paper. See how it got kind of watered out and blotchy? If you get the bubbles too wet, if you get your bubbles too wet, then it... Um, sort of makes just a big blotch of water and that's what happened up here with the red one as well okay see the red one but anyway then I, what I did is I made a card I folded up my card first so I folded the paper before I did any of the painting I folded it in fourths see then I wrote mom on the front 
Then I wrote inside, I love you. Then I opened it up and let me open it up. And then I started putting all the, the bubbles on it. Okay. You could draw pictures if you like of you and your brother, sister, or maybe your favorite animal or something on your card to your mom flowers. I don't know. But the cool thing is you get an abstract bubble design on your um, paper. All right. Have fun with this. I hope you enjoy it. I tried to find easy things that you could find in your house. It was kind of a chore for me. I couldn't find all the colors I, ha I needed, the paints. I kind of had to scrounge around. I went out in the garage and found some old acrylic paints and they worked good enough. And um, it was easy to get the dish soap. It was easy to find um, glasses and it was pretty easy to find uh, straws. We had straws in our cupboard. So just scrounge together everything you have and have fun, all right? Hope to see you soon. Uh, enjoy this time that you have creating a Mother's Day card. All right, Silver Knights, see you later. Bye-bye.